What's up? All my fellow speedsters, all many humans throughout the multiverse, it's Kevin here. Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. So today we are finally jumping back into Star Girl. You know it's been a while. This is Star Girl season two, episode six. Last episode, um let's see. Last episode was our first real encounter with Eclipso, uh, in the form of um I already forgot the teacher's name, as he became some weird paint monster. I have it in my notes here. And we got some a lot of interesting um stuff happening. So let's start with Sydney is continuing continuing to build her ISA team. Uh, she even attempted to recruit Cameron. Looks like, but Cameron wasn't all about that. And I I was really surprised by Cameron because that was the first time we really seen Cameron like you know have that kind of negative emotion. Because Cameron was pretty like neutral, or pretty positive last season. So it's interesting to see him with that perspective. Uh, we also saw that uh, Cameron's grandmother has the icicle power. So. It begs the question, how far back does the icicle power go in Cameron's family? So that's something that I'm interested to find out. Um, we also got a little bit more chemistry between Cameron and us and Courtney. And they nearly kissed. Nearly kissed. And um, obviously, Courtney had to go and do JSA stuff. And man, I really don't want to see my man Cameron... To go to dark side but it kind of feels like that's where the story is headed so um i'm very interested to see how he'll become my school junior here i guess we'll find out uh, we also got a little um cool bonding moment between uh, pat and mike um them are going to work on a jsa project together so i thought that was pretty cool um let's see what else here we also got a little bit of some flashbacks with sydney and her mother so we got a little bit more backstory on her so i thought that was interesting i'm guess we'll probably see more of that in this episode maybe possibly or maybe later in the season <clears throat> well, let's see anything else here um we also saw you know eclipso mess with their minds like we saw eclipso show um yolanda brainwave and henry and eclipso show rick grundy and how he's the monster and not him so i thought that was interesting he was messing with their minds and that was just the first taste of eclipso so a very interested to see i'm very interested to see you know what is he truly capable of you know when he goes all out because obviously this was just a small taste and if it does seem like yolanda does plan on killing eclipso but uh, i'm very curious how that's gonna go because um it did seem like they're building up a storyline with yolanda regretting killing so i'm guessing i'm very curious what they're gonna do with yolanda's character especially after she killed brainwave last season so we're probably gonna see more of that here let's see anything else um the episode ended with um cameron developing his ice school powers more as we saw a little tease of that last season so i'm very interested to see um how when he'll become ice school junior and what side he'll resign on because you know they could definitely make some stuff up from the comics they could do something where he joins the jsa for a little bit then he finds out about what really happened to his parents and that could turn him against the jsa or something or maybe he stays neutral. We don't know. I'm really hoping that he doesn't turn bad. At least turn bad for long. Because I just really like Cameron and Courtney together. But anyway guys. um, Yeah without further ado. This could be Stargirl Season 2 Episode 6. Without further ado. Let's jump right into the reaction. Oh no. Hi Isaac. Can I get this your... is bad. My mother and father. Yeah, she made it up. Yes, it, yeah, that's how I thought it was gonna happen. Cindy made up that story. Oh, this ain't, this ain't good. So, it does look like the ISA or the new ISA, the new JSA, are gonna go out of this episode. Okay, uh, <clears throat> they've been signing that up. Okay. okay. No, it's not okay. I am not okay with this. Man, I feel so bad for her. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Artemis. Your family blows up. Actually, she does. Actually, I do. Yeah. Know. I don't know if I'm getting my parents back. But I know who took them from me. Oi. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, they need to group up, group up like now and make a plan. 
So I guess they're really gonna attack them without Cameron, so... On the bright side of things, Cameron's not evil, at least not yet. <clears throat> oh man. This guy can't catch a fucking break. Things keep happening to good people in this town. I feel like this is going to be his motivation to join the... Oh, that's not good. I feel like this is going to be his motivation to join the ISA. Or we should go. We'll talk later. I'll find you, okay? This poor guy, man. He's such a nice guy, but I feel like they're really gonna ruin him and he's gonna go full villain. Okay, so there is some advantages of having this guy in the loop, kinda. I do like this little art they're giving Mike, since he doesn't have the Thunderbolt anymore. Oh no, are they gonna jump this kid? Oh my god. Oh, can we stop it with this Scooby Doo nonsense? Right in front of him? Yep. Hi, yeah. Nah. You're There's no way awesome. that she actually believes he'd be willing to join the ISA. You were just like your father. You don't do anything, Mike. Damn. Job for you. You're gonna be the bait. Of course, man. Nobody can catch a break in this show, man. Okay, it's not too bad. They captured him, okay? I thought that they were gonna jump in and, like, beat the living crap out of him. Oh, no, Isaac! Yeah, I knew it, because she gave him the violin. Oh, this isn't good. I... Ooh! Oh, damn! Oh, that's his back. Oh, your back is done, man. Oh! Hi, Mr. Dugan. What the f- <laughs> What the hell is she wearing? Is, is she supposed to be Sportsmaster? Why couldn't they just make her Tigress? She looks like an off-brand Jason Voorhees. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be a serious moment. She looks ridiculous. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh shit. Oh damn. Okay, I thought they were gonna jump Mike, but they're gonna jump Pat. Oh. Ah, oh, this poor guy. Like, there's literally nothing he can do. How hard was that swing to knock the head off? Because she doesn't have any powers, does she? Then again, I thought that Sportsmaster and Tigress had powers last season, but some people were telling me that they were just peak human strength. Oh, damn, they did a number on that thing. Oh, what they knocked the, the arm off too? First, your friends. Why does why does she hate her again? I completely forgot why she hates her. Because she didn't want to hang out that one time. <laughs> That's her villain motivation. Thea, it's your time now. Yes. No, it's not. Oh my god, Cindy, you're a fucking idiot. Cindy cannot be this dumb to believe. Oh man, yeah, Eclipso is- I know where this is going, Eclipso is gonna backstab her at the end of this. I'm counting on it. Cause they need- this is the middle of the season, they need this to happen. It's me. You absolutely can do this. this is a really bad time for Jenny to skip town. Go if they had Jenny here, they might actually have a much better chance. Your brother. Kick that girl's ass. Yes, thank you! Cindy's getting on my nerves, bro. Oh, she's gonna call the shade. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. The shade's gonna be the one that turns the tide in the favor of the JSA. 
Yeah, because um, she'll he's gonna be willing to work with them because Cindy has the diamond. If telling you this is the right or the wrong thing to do, but the girl who took Mike also has a black diamond. I mean, they need all the help they could get at this point. Man, I feel bad for the janitors at this school because this school gets like fucked up every other week at this point. Oh, that's a nice touch. They have the violin as background music. They could have made a better costume for Artemis, really. That costume is so ugly. I'm sorry. I got bored waiting. He's in the ground. No, I don't buy that. Ooh, yes, right into it. Woo! Ooh, nice. Yeah, I, to be honest, Beth at this point is a liability. Why did they bring her? She can't fight. Oh, nice distraction. Ooh! Okay, alright. Beth is useful for something. Okay. Rick? Rick? Come on. Ooh, that was a nice little something I got. Oh, damn! Okay, yeah, she's out cold. Really, Sydney is the only real threat at this point. Ooh! The stunt work! Can somebody please smash that violin to pieces? Damn! Oh, there's Mike. Okay, alright. Cindy may not be able to. I mean, Beth may not. Oh, Beth not be able to fight, but she's useful for some things. But she seriously needs to train if she is standing a chance against these guys. Please, somebody smash that violin. It cannot be that hard. The dude is just a guy with a violin with no powers. Oh, he's turning that shit up. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that was a nice transition. Oh, man, they're really hitting it with the transitions. Oh, God. Come on, Rick. You have super strength. Woo! I think this might actually be one of the best fights they've done so far. Not just with choreography, but the editing, too. Ooh. Woo! The cuts are so smooth. I think this might actually be better than the finale from last season, if I'm being honest. Oh, come on, Rick. Just grab her and throw her through a wall or something. Come on, Rick. Come on. Thank you. Just grab a toy... She cannot be this good. Thank you. Just grab like a stall and like smash her head over it. I refuse to believe this non-power girl is keeping up with the dude with super strength. Thank you. Oh man, the camera work! Man, I love it when fight seek when shows do fight scenes with one shots. Ooh. Man, they really went all out this episode. Oh, I thought he stabbed her. I was so I was so confused for a second. Stay down. I don't want to hurt you anymore. Okay, can you like stomp on that violin now? Alright, Mike, coming in clutch. 
Ooh, nice teamwork. How the hell did she get out? I'll just do this myself. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, trust it, it release Eclipse, so yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Oh, the shade. Alright, the shade coming in clutch. Yeah, they don't stand a chance now. Well, assuming if she doesn't release Eclipse, because if she does, then, well, that's gonna be a problem. Things you don't understand. I know exactly what this is. And no, you don't. What's in it. You don't know what it's capable of. If you knew what you're dealing with, you wouldn't be wielding it in some trivial teenage gang fight. Hell yeah. Man, I love what they're doing with the shade this season. No, oh no, who could have seen this coming? Sydney, you're a dumbass. I'm sorry. I, I I don't feel bad for you. I don't. I don't feel bad for you. You should have at least a little common sense to know not to trust a mis a anonymous voice coming from a diamond. Oh damn the effects. Man, flash, eat your heart out. Oh, is it gonna break the diamond? Oh no! That's gonna release him, right? Is she gonna break the diamond? Oh no, this is bad! Oh no! Yeah, he's released now, right? Yeah, Eclipse was out. Oh, this isn't good. This is bad. Oh, wait, can they all see it? What's going... Why are they focusing on these extras? What's going on? Oh, that's what they're implying. Isn't it, like, really bad to look at an eclipse, like, bare-eyed like that? Oh, I, I know what he looks like for the promotional material, but I want to see what he looks like in motion. Oh, man. This is how you make a villain look intimidating. Yeah, that's all practical, right? That's not a mask, right? It's all practical effects. You betrayed me. You're an idiot. I'm sorry. I don't feel bad. I I'm sorry. I don't feel bad. You you had this coming. Oh! Oh, he's gonna stab her with it. Oh man, they did a good job with the makeup on him. Damn, are they gonna kill all the ISA members? I didn't think they were gonna go this d dark. Oh, damn, he's gonna shang sung his ass. Oh damn! So that's that's the end of Isaac. Oh damn! I thought they would keep it hit, keep him alive a little bit longer. Oh shit! He he really is Shang Tsunging him. Yeah, I'm with you, girl. I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sydney's next. I, I don't feel bad at at this point. You owe me. He don't own you, Jack. Shit. Oh oh damn! What the hell? Oh shit! What the fuck? Where's she? Where's he sending her? Is that like a different way he absorbs people, or is she just Gonzo? No, that's not the end of her. I think he sent her. Him, he sent her somewhere. No, Rick. No. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. Pack it up. Time to go. Time to go. There's nothing they can fucking do at this point. 
souls of children. Okay, let's see what the shade's really capable of. I don't think it's gonna do much though, because this is the middle of the season. Oh what? Oh their power his powers come from Eclipso? Did he kill him? Or did he just did he escape? What the fuck just happened? Did he just absorb the staff? Is the staff's energy? What just happened? Oh no, he did! I think he absorbed the how, the power of the staff. Oh, this is not good. This is bad. Oh no. Oh, okay, he's still alive, okay. Dead. Nah, I'm not buying it. Isaac Bowen is too. Okay, Isaac is Artists. probably dead. I don't think... I don't think, um... Happened to her. Um, Boy, Sydney is. Because he didn't absorb her, her soul. He sent her somewhere. I think Eclipso was always trying to... It went dark. Something's wrong with it now. Yeah, it's not good because now Courtney's gonna have to learn to fight without the staff because the staff has no power. I step up my training. They will rebuild Stripe together. No, I want my own Stripe, Dad. Oh, imagine that Mike with his own armor. And I'm scared. They all need to step up and power up because there's really they they could have all easily died here. So they all need to find some way to get stronger. Isaac wasn't evil. He was just a troubled kid. Yeah. He was manipulated. Really, his death is Sydney's fault because she lied to him. He didn't deserve to. We just gotta find him. Yeah, but what are they gonna do? The diamond's gone, so they can't seal him away anymore. Uh, this creepy ass kid is back. Oh man. Oh man. What did Sydney do? Oh, this is not good. Alright guys, so that was Star Girl Season 2 Episode 6. Man, I don't even know where to begin with this episode. A lot happened here. Um, this was our first um, this was our re first confrontation of the new ISA with Sydney, um, Isaac, and Artemis in that god awful costume. I don't know what the hell the costume department was thinking. That looked like shit, I'm sorry. Like they couldn't just make her tigress or something. Or they could have even make, made her Cheshire. That would have been an interesting twist if they made her like this Earth's version of Cheshire. That would that would have been interesting. Um, I really liked how you know the ISA was kind of picking them off one by one. Isaac confronted Yolanda. You know Mike getting captured. The them attacking Pan, destroying Stripe. Uh, Armis going after Beth, and you know Sydney going after Courtney via phone phone call. And I thought that what they did was really smart. And I gotta say, this was, I think this is the best fight we've had in the entire show so far. Even better than the finale. Like, the camera work, the editing, the transitions, and the cuts. All of that was beautiful, in my opinion. I I honestly think, yeah, this is definitely some of the best fight. I think this might even want to be, be one of the best fights in the entire Arrowverse, in my personal opinion. Uh, I think this might even be better than some fights I've seen on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This might be one of my favorite fights in all of superhero television. Um, all the choreography, they really went all out in this episode. And I I really enjoy it. This is definitely the best fight of the show so far. And um, we obviously saw Sydney summon Eclipso. And that's when Shade came in to turn the tide. I thought he was going to turn the tide. But once Eclipso came, Eclipso folded everybody. He killed Isaac Ab 
sent Cindy somewhere. I don't think she's dead. I think because he didn't absorb her like he did with Isaac. So, um, I, I don't think she's dead. She's definitely somewhere. I'm guessing she's probably stuck in some other dimension or something. I, I don't know. Um, we also saw just how powerful Eclipso is. And this was a, still a small taste of what he's truly capable of. He even made the shade. Someone who took out the entire JSA by himself without breaking a sweat. And he folded him like a lawn chair. And it, it really shows just how dire the situation is. Because the diamond was destroyed by Courtney. So they can't seal him away anymore. So I'm very interested what they're going to do at this point. And also it, it seemed like he absorbed the power of the staff. Because the staff isn't working now. So they're pretty much done right here. So really only Rick is really their only powerhouse now. Now that Jenny is elsewhere. Um, where she's looking for her brother I'm assuming. And Courtney, Courtney's staff is not working it right now, so she's definitely going to be grounded for the time being. Rick is really the only powerhouse they have, and that's scary. Um, and um, I'm very curious to see how um, everything is going to unfold the season. And I thought that the Eclipse will even kill the Shade, but um, the Shade is still alive. So I'm guessing he's going to be out of commission for the time being, so they don't have his protection now. So... Unless if Rick can somehow convince the JSA to work with Grundy, they're, they're pretty much screw, screwed at this point because they're down manpower right now. So I'm very curious to see how this episode, how the rest of this show is going to go because this is like, this was the turning point of the season. Like we thought the ISA were going to be, uh, we obviously knew Eclipse was going to be the main threat, but I was really thinking the ISA or the new ISA was going to be around a lot more, but they got taken out like nothing. So I'm very interested to see how everything is going to unfold here. We obviously need to get Jenny back somehow. And um, the Thunderbolt is with Jakeem. So I'm wondering when they're going to bring him in. Hopefully in the next couple episodes. So um, I'm very interested to see how that's going to go. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, overall, really great episode. This was probably easily the best episode of the season so far. I cannot wait to see what else will do. But um, yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications on my any future content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the good stuff. And yeah, guys, feel free to check out my Patreon. And also, check out my new video schedule. I'm going to be uploading on the community tab every single week. I'll be up I'll be updating the schedule for you guys. So feel free to check that out for, for yourselves. As I'm going to be uploading a lot more on Patreon. So I can get a lot more early access stuff. And pretty soon, once I finish up Stargirl, Superman, Lois, and some other shows. And I free up my schedule. I'm also... Planning on doing other shows on Patreon. Full Metal Alchemist is a big one that I plan on doing on Patreon soon. Um, I'll probably do other shows on there so I can have some Patreon ex exclusive content for you guys. And yeah, I do have I do plan to put a lot of stuff out there for you guys. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.